What's good, my friends? My name is Tony, and I welcome you back to our shade and his longing. And I guess mine longing too. And while Shade was enjoying his time thinking about nothing, I was thinking that I should record myself because there is a new land. How do you say it? Above us, I guess. It's like here. And I just wanted to share it with you. So as you can see, I actually grown. Maybe I should return to my home. Nope. That's that's no, my friend. As you can see, there is a mushroom, and it actually grown here and now we can proceed further however i want to try something i'm not sure it will work but let's try it let's try it yeah let's harvest mushroom come on all right let's do it So last time I tried, Shade jumped on the mushroom, and uh, I think I, I think you cannot do this. Yeah, I think you cannot. Actually, you can. Or maybe, wait, what? Oh great! Oh, you sneaky bastard! Ah! <laughs> uh, oh wow! Actually, wait, no, you're not sneaky bastard. You're actually quite smart one. Perfect. So. Last time I did that, Shade, Shade said something along the line like, I can't believe it actually worked, and I agreed. I quite couldn't believe it worked either, and now we are going... We are going here. So, Finis, now the music stops, you will hear the creepy sounds, and it will get really, really dark. Last time I got here without this glowing mushroom, I was going there without anything really, and at some point I wanted to explore a little bit, I wanted to check upon the new territory, but then Shade something, then Shade said, oh my god, I cannot talk today, said something like, I hear weird sounds, maybe we should get back? And I was hearing those sounds as well, come on, dude. Um... So yeah, I decided that something new is ahead, and I really want to record it, want to share it. And now we are here. Come on, buddy, come on. There is a long way forward. I might skip it. Who might keep it? Not quite sure yet. There will be some crawling part. Come on, shady. I remember I gave shade name Neo. But it was a long time ago, I think, maybe it was during my past life. I think it fits him, or maybe maybe it doesn't, I don't know. So there is darkness ahead. And if you remember, at least the ones who was watching my series, this playthrough, there is a smiley face that gives us quests to achieve and one of his quests was to embrace darkness i'm not quite remember what sort of quest it was it was something related to darkness and smiley face said something like in order to defeat darkness you should become darkness or maybe you should become light oh, i don't remember it was a long time ago but as you can see shades turning into some dark creature but at least now we can see thanks to the glowing mushroom and I'm actually quite happy that I decided to check upon this theory it worked let's see what lies ahead let us see I still keep little faith that there is hidden multiplayer in this game. 
or maybe there is a possibility for the future feature to have some sort of a area lo uh, room or maybe portal where you can stumble upon another player another shade it would be fantastic it would be creepy pasta but imagine just going through your adventure just doing your thing and playing this game in the background and then you just stumble upon another shade who isn't really moving as another npc but rather a living creature man it would be perfect It's really dark in there. This looks like some cave art, some cave, um, some cave pictures, like claws, and there were like some humans, or maybe those are just shadows. Come on, dude. Yeah, last time Shade said about hearing some noises somewhere in this area. Now, because we have some light, he's quiet, or maybe because he already said it once and he won't be warning me again. Hopefully it isn't the end and hopefully we won't die here because it will be quite a shameful end. Look at the caves, look at the walls here, they're getting creepy. They're actually quite different from the rest of layout of the cave. What is this place? Hmm... It's getting darker and darker. Uh, actually, there is some path above us. I have never been there, by the way. I have never ever been there. So where do we should we go? Upstairs or there? Let's go forward. Then we come back here. Hopefully, maybe. Uh oh. What's going on? Why is the camera zooming? Oh. <sighs> oh, I can feel my end nearing. All right. So that's how you can actually die, right? If you will not have the mushroom, you can actually fall from there and just die, right? I can feel my end near it. Man, this is some creepy... creepy stuff. Hmm. Should we jump down and just die? No. No, we shouldn't. I'm not sure. I mean, sometimes game can prevent you from jumping and dying and it will say like, like I do not want to die, but Shade pretty much warned us right here that he can feel his end near. So yeah, we won't play with Destiny just yet, although I'm quite curious what will happen. I mean, I kind of know, but... I honestly went through so many breakups and heartbra heartbreaks lately, so I don't want to go through another one. We already lost Peter and don't want to lose Shade as well, so let's go up. Without this, 
I seem to have stumbled upon a hidden staircase in this darkness. Hmm. Oh boy, it's getting dark. Really, really dark, like... Even mushroom isn't truly helping. I was about to say that I guess without mushroom we won't see anything, but, you know, even with mushroom we cannot see anything. I can hear sound is loud. Oh, wait, wait, what? Um, dude, <laughs> don't you tell me this is another player. What's going on here? Hello? Do you want some mushroom? I can share if you will be my friend. I can see you. Uh-oh. Um. <gasps> Wait, what? I feel like I've had a horrible nightmare. You know what? That was creepy as freaking hell, bros. Um, what was this crystal, by the way? So, what happened? Also, why is it crystal here? I don't remember it being here. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Alright, I actually harvested it last time without showing you guys here. Let it be here. Maybe I should just place it somewhere here for now. Okay, let's sit down and read and see. There is a journal we keep so we can actually understand what in the hell just happened, right? As long as there is time, there will always be longing, and once the longing has ended, the world will no longer need time, and those without longing will no longer need the world. Um, right, we read this as well. But I feel the presence of a great darkness lurking somewhere. Where is this darkness? Will I ever overcome it? I could really use a map. Okay, map I have. The cave is supposedly full of hidden places. I have seen nearly every area of the cave. The way to light is blocked by total darkness. You will only overcome darkness if you learn to become darkness. This way, you will be invisible to it. But you will only achieve this if you dive, if you delve deep, deep into your own mind, in conscious loneliness. Mm, you know what? Let's let's visit that face. Let's visit that face. Maybe we should get back to that place without a mushroom. And maybe we can see this guy. Maybe we can... Maybe we can endure that stand out with him. It obviously wasn't a another player because he smiled at us and I'm not sure if you can actually do this in this game. It was an NPC of some sort, maybe another shade, maybe another creature, I... Uh, I don't know. But that was funny. A little bit creepy, but funny. At least we are not alone anymore. I'm trying to find that face. Right, I think it's here. Let's go. Let's go. And this is a place. This is a place of a smiley face. 
not so smiley you can say but hey it actually smiles when you don't look at it thank you let's talk sub dude hello face how are you i'm well thank you how are you can you help me with these thoughts how can i overcome the darkness the way to light is blocked by total darkness. You will only overcome darkness if you learn to become darkness. This way you will be invisible to it. But you will only achieve this if you delve deep, deep into your own mind in conscious loneliness. Thank you, Face. What lies beyond the cave? I will grant you my wisdom, but I demand an offer and in return give five disappointments i currently have 10 yeah let's let's give let's give giving is good beyond this cave there is light light is beautiful and dangerous light is without understanding don't trust the childish eyes of the young they will fear you only trust the old and blind who are not afraid of that of that which emerges from darkness hmm. they will fear you so don't trust the young maybe he's talking about that dream we had that little troll is young and old and blind who are not afraid of that which emerges from darkness. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, I have some more questions, huh? That's new. Can you tell me a secret? I will grant you my wisdom, but I demand an offering in return. Give three golden coins. Mm, wait there is a treasure that lies beyond the glass and I think you can break it with your matic mm, I'm not sure I should do that I mean the king will be really really disappointed I should think about it what will happen if I leave the cave so there is a possibility of living and I'm pretty sure Shade been thinking about this. I will grant you my wisdom, but I demand an offering in return. Give 100 call and look, we have 101 call. Perfect, let's give it. If you set foot outside, the kingdom will crumble and be forgotten forever. There won't be a way back. But this is the tragedy of being. Each triumph may be a real defeat, and for each defeat, there is a hidden triumph lingering in the dark I like that basically there is no good or bad path every path can be taken and every path can be can be treated such as a defeat or a victory and only you can decide which one is Is there a way to manipulate time? I will grant you my wisdom, but I demand an offering in return. Well, I need seven disappointments, I currently have only five. But that's an interesting one. I have another theory, maybe we should go and face that another shade without a mushroom. Let's actually try it. Thank you, smiley face. Now we have to collect some coal pieces along the way as well. Mm, but first things first. Let's go there. And here we are. The magic of editing, huh? Now, I wanted to show you something. Look. I've noticed it last time I was here. Let's investigate. And now we should just wait a little bit thing is there is a hidden door you can see 
during this scene. But when you approach that place where the door is, there is no door. As if there is no spoon in the Matrix. And I wonder why, and I wonder how to enter that invisible door. And I'm not really into spoiling the game. I try to keep myself off from any information because this game is, of course, beautiful on its own and I really like to discover everything on my own. But I accidentally read somewhere that there is a door and you can only enter it or open it during the midnight. And midnight, I was wondering what sort of midnight. I guess midnight, my, my time, my computer time. I will show you exactly where is this door. I will take a screenshot and maybe, of course, I'm imagining things and maybe this place with the door I just couldn't couldn't quite reach yet, but you will see, you will see. I'm curious if places like here have any other continuation. Can you do something with it or is it just... Remember I collected one disappointment here. Was it the only purpose or was it not? So here is the treasure. I think I might break the glass and collect some coins. Coins are always good. Coins are always good. Now it's really dark and hard to see and I will try to show you the door. This cave system is huge. Maybe I was imagining this door. Cannot see it. Hmm, it's strange. Maybe I imagine door here. Take a screenshot here. I think. Yeah, maybe I was imagining stuff. I'm pretty sure there was a door here. Maybe it can be seen only during different times. I don't know. Is the map moving? I'm not sure. I want to see beyond that. Beyond that cave and what's above. Yeah, I think it's moving slowly, but surely. I 
think that's a bus, the dark bus. You can hardly see what's there. Of course, there is somewhere is it a place when you can can take a leap of faith and I guess die, right? I think your shady is falling asleep, and I also think that you cannot see past this darkness. So let's return to our location. No, 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 Shade, don't, don't go. Now we'll get back to that place with the big mushroom. I will return to the darkness and then we'll try to face that face again. And back to darkness. I decided to bring mushroom with me because just not to me is a staircase so let's go up and when we get close to the dude we will eat the mushroom come on man. actually let's eat it now and just proceed okay that's creepy quite creepy I'm thinking maybe you should go to sleep. This is how you won't be seeing anything, and this is how you become full darkness. Time itself is going slowly here. We're approaching this dude again. Maybe he won't be here, blocking our path. Nope, there he is. Maybe we should go to sleep. <laughs> that's just... That's just creepy. I mean... I wasn't expecting a different dude. He's smiley. And what happened exactly here? He said that... I see you. And then that it was a nightmare. And then we just turned back home. The question is how? I mean, it's obviously not a nightmare because we're seeing it again pretty much like it was before. Something happened. Maybe this dude is a magician and he teleported us back. I'm not sure. Or maybe that's another shade who stuck there and he was doing the previous job and kinda was kinda lost here because in order to reach this place you have to dig many walls and holes. Or maybe the king locked this dude here. But he's way too happy for being left out. For being left for dead. And I'm not sure what's going on. I think I will wait till my shade will go to sleep. I don't know how much time you need for this, but I will get back to you guys. Or to my game. Once it will happen, I want to see if this is even possible to fall asleep right here. So yeah, let's wait. So Sherry's slowly getting asleep. He's getting tired. And there is this question appeared. And I don't want to answer it because I think it will trigger his wakefulness. I have to admit, you gotta have... You gotta have the guts and nerves of steel to be able to fall asleep in this creepy situation. I think it's been around 12 minutes already that I am waiting and he's still awake. Let's wait some more. So Shade just isn't giving up. I 
I think it's been 30 minutes already and he still just doesn't want to go to sleep, so... Maybe I should answer this dialogue and just to proceed to this dude... Oh! Actually... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I should have answered this question actually, but I don't know. <laughs> So it takes about 30 minutes to fall asleep. That's a long time and it, nothing really happened. Funny is that now there is only guy and I just don't know what to do. Um, yeah, maybe I should have answered this question. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing really happens and yeah, let's let's wake up. That was the greatest waste of time, but. Thankfully, guys, and thanks to magic of editing, you didn't see it. Okay, wake up, dude. I dreamed about a place beyond this cave. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's wait a little bit more. Maybe this dialogue will appear again. And if not, I will just come closer to this dude. And whatever happens, happens. Okay, guys. I don't know when and why and how this message can pop up again, but we have missed it. And I don't have much time right now to wait. I think I already played it like for like an hour, so. Let's just approach this dude and see what will happen. And if anything, I will get back here and wait for this another. No, you don't. No, you don't, dude, no. Okay, so it's the same scene, yeah. All right, guys, I'm back at home. So I will end this episode here. Lots of editing ahead, even though you already seen it, but I still have to do it first. You know, the magic of time, magic of editing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you, and yeah, stay awesome, be healthy, and always yourself. See you soon, guys. Love you, and bye-bye.